Hello there, it's reading time, jolly reading time. And I have my books here today and I, I chose this one, Just a Storm. So are you ready to start reading? Oh yes, okay then, let's go. Who can read that, the title? Just a storm, yes. What can you see there in the picture? Well, yes, I can see that this is a storm. It's a storm, yes. And what's the setting? What is happening, all this thing? On a farm, yes, that's a farm. And here we have a barn. I wonder who lives there? Farmer Green? We don't know. And what animals are there in the barn? Yeah. Can you see the big fat raindrops here? Oh, they are big and fat. And here we have a lightning. Oh, yes. Oh, it is a very, very big storm, but it's just a storm. Well, let's see what happens, okay? But before reading, what do we always do? We always revise. So very quickly. We are going to say the sounds. What sound is this? Eh, you're right. What sound is this? Mmm, you're right. What sound is this? Ah, you're right. What sound is this? Oh, what sound is this? Eh, hey, you're right. What sound is this? I. What sound is this? E. Very good. And these are the capital letters. So now we are ready to start. Mm. Here on the left, you have your little game. We have to join the small case with a capital letter. Right? So we have the first one it's done for you, A, and here is a capital letter, A. But let's go to the story. Can you read that? I'm hearing, it's your turn. Yes, my turn. Big fat raindrops dripped and plopped. So can you see the big fat raindrops, raindrops? Look at this, yes. And what is the noise that they make? Trip, plop, trip, plop, trip, plop. Yes, they dripped and plopped. Can you see the faded letter here and here? Meaning that they do not sound. So we go d r e p d p l o p t dripped, plopped. Okay, so can you imagine yourself inside the barn and all the noise? Drip, plop, clip, plop, clip, plop. Mm, let's see what happens. Who's inside the barn? Who do you see there? Oh yes, a g o t. What is that? A goat. Can you find the word goat in your text? Yes, it's here. G o t. Goat. And where is a goat? Here. Look at her. She's got big yellow eyes. And. She says, what does she say? Can you read that? Listen, she says, very good. And does she say that or does she moan? Listen, listen. So where does it say moan? Moan, here, very good, moan. And the same, we have a faded, letter meaning that that doesn't sound so it is m owned 
How many sounds do you hear in the word mound? M O N D. Mound. Very good. So it's time for you to read that last sentence. Listen, mound goat. And can you read these words here that are the sounds that these raindrops make when they whoop, get into the water? Yes. Drip, drop, clip, flop. Yes. Mm. Do you think, look at her face. How do you think she's feeling? On the alert, she's like, mm, surprised. Oh, a little bit afraid? Let's see what happens. Mm. Okay. But in the barn, we have other animals there. You can see it in my big here picture. Do you see we have other animals? We have a horse and we have the fowl. Yes. And what does the horse say? It's just rain. What does he groan? Your turn. My turn. It's just rain, groaned horse. Yes. Can you spot the O sound in the word groaned? Yeah. Groaned. Again, we have the faded letters here, meaning that they do not sound just like the word Horse. Very good. Now let's see what happens. Next page. Now the goat again. What does she say? Can you read that? Listen. And here down, what is she saying? Listen again, cried goat. So, oh, and what is she hearing? A tap. Can you see the magpie here? So what is that sound is made by the magpie? You're right, here is a magpie. But goat, look at her. How is she feeling now? Yeah, she's very afraid. Look, she's trembling. Oh my goodness. But what does horse and foal say? What do they groan? Let's read. The foal groaned, it's just magpie. It's just magpie. Yeah, look at the frog. He's very, he's, he's meditating. He's very peace and quiet. So you see the whole picture here. Yes. So are the horses afraid? Mm -mm. Who is afraid? Who is afraid? Yes, the goat. Okay. Again, look at her. Look at her. What is the sound that she's hearing? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Where does it say tick tock, tick tock? Go with your finger and point at the word tick tock. Yeah, you're right. And what does goat cry again? You read. Yes, listen, listen, cried goat again. Oh, she's still trembling. So she's afraid of all the noises. Oh my goodness, yes. Now let's see, what does toad say? The frog and the frog croaked and said, what? It's your turn to read. Yeah, the frog says, blinking his eye, it's just Toad's clock. You see? Oh my goodness, it was just a clock. So then Goat, now that she knows that it was just a clock, she just, what did she do? Can you read that? It's my turn now. At 10, 
at 10, goat fell asleep. What do you think she is going to do when she's sleeping? You're right, she snores. Yeah, she snored. So goat snored. Can you read that? <laughs> yes, goat snored. Goat snored a lot. And here, this is the way she snored. <sighs> A E I O. <laughs> Can you do it with me? One, two, three. <sighs> A E I O. <laughs> yeah, that was a loud snoring. Yes. And you see in snored, we have the faded letters. That's because they, all right, do not sound so snored. Goat snored a lot. And horse says, what does he say? Look, what are they doing? Who are they? Can you read who are they over there? Yes. So, horse, foal, magpie, toad, and frog jumped. Oh, they jumped. What happened? What happened? Let's see what happened. Is it a foghorn, they say. Is it a foghorn, cried foal. Can you read that? Where does it say foghorn? Here, very good. Where does it say cried? Go with your finger. Here, very good. Where does it say foul? Finger. Very good here. So now they are afraid. They are startled because they heard this <coughs> A-E-I-O. They don't know. Ha <laughs> ha, it's their time to be afraid. What? Does magpie say? Can you read that? It's just goat, ground magpie. It's just goat. Oh yes, it was only goat. You're right. So, did you like the story? Yes. So let's go back to the beginning. And who tries to fix the hole in the barn roof? Who do you think tries to fix the hole that is in the barn roof? There is a hole because of the lightning. So then the raindrops started dripping in. And that was a noise. Blip, blop, blip. Who do you think tried to fix it? Yes, Farmer Green, because this is Farmer Green's moat farm. Yes. Okay. But he couldn't fix it because look, drip, drop, drip, drop, drip, drop. And who has an alarm clock? Who has an alarm clock? Yes, the toad. You see, the toad. And what time is it there? Nine o'clock. You're right. Very good. Now, what wakes up horse, foal, toad, frog, and magpie? What wakes up horse, foal, magpie, toad, and frog that they jumped? Oh, absolutely. It was the goat snoring. <laughs> Yes, you're right. Now, why do you think goat is scared of noises at night? Why do you think she's scared of noises at night? I think so because it's dark. Some people are scared of darkness. But you don't need to be scared of darkness. Or you just put the lights on. And that's it. <laughs> Good. 
And now tell me, why are horse, fowl, toad, frog, and magpie cross with goat? They are cross. Why do you think they are cross? Look at them. They are cross. You're right. Because goat didn't let them sleep because he was all saying every time, listen, listen, listen. And then he, fall, he fell asleep and with his, her snoring, she woke up them. Oh my gosh. So they are very cross. Would you be cross if they don't let you sleep because of the snoring? <sniffs> hey, e, I, O. <laughs> well, did you like the book? Yes, very good. So now it's your turn to read it all over again. Have a nice read because this is a beautiful book. And then you can even retell it. You can read it to somebody else with a nice clear voice. And you can even talk about this. You can make drawings of the beginning, the middle and the end. And then write little things underneath. Good? Well, see you next time. Bye.